So race five, we're back on the level again, but it's the long distance flat race this time. It's two miles. And the top one is Dream Alliance for Alex Cherry. Mary Storm C. Beckwith, international debut for Darren Howes. High on Life Hems, Adamski for Paul Rhodes. Serial Sinner C. Beckwith for Mosa Davriel, Davy Ladd. Al Kicks, Derek Hinton, Barracuda Bay and Lawless Law for Hems. Colonial Saki and Dude vs. Crick for Leon van Rensburg. Solid Illusion for Martin Liedem and Eclipsed for Paul Rhodes. All in the stalls then. And away they go. And straight into a left handed turn. And Colonial Saki is just about the leader. From Eclipsed in second. And a bit of a gap to Dream Alliance in third as they sort themselves out now. Round that turn. And settle down to race up the back straight. And Colonial Saki is in the lead. Leon Van Rensburg has already had a good day. Looking to increase that with this one. And Colonial Saki is a good three lengths clear. And we clipped in second. Dream Alliance in the orange sleeves is third. Then comes Adamski. In second of the Paul Rhodes horses in fourth. Serial Sinners after that one. And then a bit of a gap of about a length or so. So the rest of them were just about headed by High on Life. The grey looks like it might be Dude vs. Crick. It's difficult to tell. I don't think it is Dude vs. Crick actually. I think it's Mary Storm. Yeah, it is Mary Storm. The back marker is Solid Illusion. No illusion about the leader at the moment. It's Colonial Saki. Oh, that's interesting. I've not seen that before. That'll make the commentator's job a lot easier. But it doesn't look quite as good, does it? Well, it's Colonial Saki, the leader, as you can see. And also, the two of them getting covered up. So, it's Colonial Saki in the lead. From Dream Alliance in second. Eclipsed his third. Then Adamski's fourth serial sinner. is the leader of the main pack of the grey Mary Storm. After that one. A big clump of them together on the back to our Barracuda Bay and the purple jacketed solid illusion. He was already rolling around on the track just a little bit. Trying to find the best path through, but he's got the pace to get through those gaps. Remains to be seen. And Colonel Saki on the downhill now then. Leads by a good three to Dream Alliance in second. Then the roads pair together, Eclipsed and Adamski. Bit of a gap back to the Grey Mary Storm serial sinneries after that one. And Dude vs. Crick. There's quite a lot of yellow caps in this. I think on Van Rensburg, I don't know if we've got three in this. Keep in mind, haven't they? Somebody's got similar colours. But it's Colonial Saki in the lead. From Eclipse and Adamski. Then Dream Alliance is third. Mary Storm still into the main route, and Solid Illusion is still at the back. With the international debut just in front of it, so. Darren Howells and myself out the back where we usually are. And it's Colonial Saki in the lead then from Eclipse and Adamski. Then Dream Alliance is in fourth. Mary Storm is trying to run on them. Barracuda Bay. And they're coming down there towards the final three and a half furlongs. And Colonial Saki is going well in the lead. And he's maintaining a lead of a good three lengths. With Adamski who looks to be going the better of the roads pair now. Barracuda Bay is beginning to run around. Doesn't look like Leon Van Rensburg has got more than two. It looks like those green colours are pretty similar to the blue ones from a distance. But it's Colonial Saki in the lead still as they race down towards the final furlong and a half. And Damski is beginning to wear him down though. And so is Barracuda Bay. One or two of these look like they need four of them two miles. But it's Colonial Saki in front. And Damski now beginning to put the pressure on the outside. And as they race into the final half furlong, and Damski hits the front and begins to pull away. Mary Storm is trying to run on. So is Barracuda Bay. It looks like a damn He's got this one up now. Damski wins it from Barracuda Bay and then Mary Storm. Dude for Spirit was next. Oh, life was closer in the end than he was at any other point in the race. And almost a procession for most of the race, that one. Until Damski finally wore down the long time leader to take it for Paul Rhodes. And the long time leader ended up fifth. Let's take a look at the full list and it's Adamski for Paul Rhodes who's the winner. Barracuda Bay for Hems is second. Mary Storm for C. Beckwith was third and Leon Van Rensburg was fourth and fifth with Dove vs. Crick and Colonial Saki. My teeth in the right off the next race.